The longer I'm at this whole business thing, the more I realize you just need to let the weeds grow. If you don't understand this lesson, then you'll get a lot of things done, but you won't get the right things done. If I spend all my time focusing on making sure that the walkway is immaculate and the gravel is dandelion free, I won't have the time to tend to the sweet peas and make sure that they're growing up the trellis the way that they should. I won't have time to thin out the kale plants to make sure that the healthiest ones flourish. It's the same in business. Let there be some weeds in the garden. Let the email go unresponded to for a day. Let the office look slightly askew. Let the taxes go unpaid. Okay, that one's a joke. Definitely pay your taxes. Important caveat, I'm not saying to be sloppy. I'm saying instead that there are a finite amount of hours in the day. You have a finite amount of willpower and bandwidth. I don't know what it is for you, but there's probably one thing that if you figure this one thing out, everything else will fall into place. Spend your time, spend your best hours focusing on that one thing. So let this be your rallying cry, let the weeds grow at least for a few hours. How I've applied this to my own business is I don't take any meetings before one o'clock. So I block off the first six hours of the day and I make sure that I'm getting my most important things done in that six hour time block. So I'll work on one or two things, maybe, one or two projects that absolutely need to get done to move the business forward. And then the rest of the day, you know, I, I find that chaos builds throughout the day. So if you can get in just a few hours of solid work at the beginning of the day, then you can focus on the weeding towards the end of the day.